Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a sketch of praying hands. So hands in prayer, but as seen from this angle. Like there's all sorts of angles like this, like this, uh, or from a different angle from, from here or from the side. But we're doing uh, as if somebody's like looking at both the hands like this. Should be a fairly simple exercise. So if you have your pens all set, we're going to draw ourselves two lines like so, just like a tent. And then normally I use like ovals for hands, but we will do this tower. So the tower for the hour of need going right up. So once you have the tower in place, we will segregate or break down the tower right down the middle. So, so that line of separation is really for the two hands. Now on this side of the tower, we are going to put in what we say um, uh, an oval. So ovals finally coming into play, another oval right next to it and if you can match the size it's all the better. So we have actually uh, done quite a bit of the uh, groundwork here. So I'm going to start with this hand on the side and I'm going right around under that oval like this putting in the butt of the hand and specifically the thumb area right there and then let's just use one two two lines like that and then do two sausages for now okay and then follow along right about in that same manner here Now they can be a little different like thumbs yeah I know that they're supposed to be similar but there can be slight variations between the two so it's okay and then right here let's put in some flesh some raised flesh right there and we go back into the wrist from this point on now we put in so it's all as you see just a collection of shapes really sausages curves ovals straight lines but here so just do like you don't need to like necessarily go like this so just do like little bit at a time and in what you call uh, use like very light strokes so we'll come inward first and start working on the inside of the hand because that is what's important and we'll lose sausages again one two and three All right let's do another set here one two and three now we work and just go ahead and put a little bit on top like that that is actually the middle finger going right behind the index finger there so now that we have all this in place we can begin to refine some of this and the way I see it working now every hand is different the thickness the the streamlined outer areas it's, it's all like every hand is 
and I've said this repeatedly and we will keep on repeating it because we are always celebrating our hands and it's a very good reminder that every hand is dynamic and unique in its own way and somewhat different so while we are putting in the straight and compressed line here for the index finger you are free to do a little bit like round there not too sharp because after all it is pressed and it's straight against the other finger so if anything you can come outward a little bit on certain hands like this at the tip and make that impression and then of course there's the uh, skin folds right there depending on the angle at which it is resting it might actually show uh, more than it is hidden and I'm putting in the same for the thumb and lines around there okay so we are pretty much almost done with the exercise and then I go and put in a bit of that index finger right in the background there again you will have to like google your own index finger now mine are like, like really towering above the index finger mostly it is the case so we will bring that upward and go about like this maybe even put in a little bit of nail right there if it's showing there's a slight curve then some lines here to represent the middle the, the central joint and that middle finger and there we have it pretty much I think that is the exercise here and then very light tones for the lines of the hands maybe some skin folds here depending on what hand is being uh, drawn so now if we have a light source and again it's very important that we from above from high and above where the in which direction the hands are pointing we're going to put in some tones right there, right there, right into where the fingers meet and then maybe even like fade it out a little bit in between the thumb, right there, right along the bulge here, like the usual uh, shading that is used in a curvature right here. Now the shading might not exactly come across like it might be mostly like a flat and matte appearance depending on what source of light you're trying to base this in. But if it's a pencil sketch I think it actually helps to have these tones and just has a more pleasant and sketch like appeal and there's nothing wrong with that. Yes, realism is very important, but it's also important that we maintain that little air of a sketch and actually promote it as such because it just has that different kind of appeal if you bring it down to earth a little bit. And so I'm putting in tones here where I would imagine that there would be no source of light or very minimal light and there we have it so pair of praying hands from, seen from that angle do try it out it's uh, I know that it's harder than it looks but it's only as hard as going through each step slowly one at a time 
Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and keep in touch. Have yourself a wonderful day.